Hello guys, welcome to Survival Russia. So today's video is going to be a little bit about knives, but the main theme is going to be about how I made a convex grind on the Mora Kenspol uh, in about 15 minutes or something, by hand of course. I always sharpened my, my knives and axes and so on by hand. My, my grandfather was a Navy engineer. He told me to, to sharpen knives when uh, I was not that old, I mean, it must have been less than 10 years old or something. So I just kept on sharpening by hand. Yeah, the can spot here is of course a scanty grind. Scanty grinds are not bad, but they're basically a double chisel grind and uh, they can be fragile if you use them for anything else than, uh, than wood. And, and uh, chisel is also very fragile if you hit a nail or something else than wood with it, right? So uh, that's why I like to put a convex grind or sort of like a little micro edge or what you can call it, micro bevel or whatever, on the on the scandy grinds. Let me show you how I, I, I did this and uh, or how I do this. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> so how I do it is I take a flat piece of wood like this, then I take these nail polishing pads here. This is a German made one, Singer. So to start out with I took it, the, the more can spot here on the coarse side for I don't know, 50 strokes on each side, 21st and then 10 and 10 and 10, something like that. And then I of course turn it around and uh, take it on the less coarser side. It says, it says it's 220, which is of course uh, relatively coarse compared to a stone at grid uh, 6000 or 2000 or 1200 or something like this. But uh, anyway, uh, I don't know, I don't think it translates uh, directly into into uh, sharpening stone grits or coarseness. But these pads here, they are of course soft, which means that uh, when you add a little bit of a pressure to them, they would of course make a convex grind. I hope it goes on the cam, but you can see that there's a uh, Quite a lot of metal in this uh, nail polishing pad here. These uh, ceramic pads here, they actually sharpen pretty, pretty well. So uh, I'll just uh, do a few more times here. When you are dragging the knife like this, you will of course make a, a burr on the edge. My grandfather, he always sharpened by dragging the knife and then and when he was done, he would take one turn the other way around to break the burrs off. That's what he explained to me. That was how he did it. So uh, yeah, but I, but I don't do it like this normally. Normally I just sharpen like this here. But anyway, when you when I've made the convex on the on this little uh, nail polishing pad here, what I do is I simply just strop it afterwards. And uh, what I strop it with is this uh, workshop field sharpener. This is not a product placement because I got this from a friend many many years ago. But it's actually a really really useful tool. And it has a little strop here, so uh, I just I just strop it like. You know, maybe 50 times or something on each side. So uh, I'll not bore you with that, but I will have to strop it a little bit, of course, for the for the cutting test. By the way, one of the reasons I like the the workshop here it also has a, it has a lot of possibilities and blah blah blah. But it has these guides here, 20 degree guides, where you uh, will put your knife on here and. Just and that sort of like helps the beginner, you can say, to 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 get the muscle memory of uh, getting a, a steady angle on, in the hand, actually. I think it could be useful for that, actually. So, let's make a cutting test here. So, uh, I have some very flimsy paper with me, and uh, you know, it's like the paper from the cashiers in the, in the, in the shops. The knife here is actually made from the same steel as the more can spot. It's a Sandvik 14C28N, I think it's called. Anyway, it's Sandvik's new steel. This has a convex grind and was made uh, a convex grind by the guy who made the knife. This is an amazingly sharp knife, actually. Let's see if we can cut a little paper here in the wind. 
I think we can. This is a scary, scary sharp knife. <laughs> it's awesome knife. Yeah, let's try the moral here. I can feel it's not as sharp as the other knife. But it's pretty damn close. Let's see if I can do a little artwork here. Yeah, yeah. No problem. Let's try again. Just for f Way. I mean, that's pretty well cut. I'm very happy about that system, <laughs> so to speak. I would say the nail polishing pads, uh, they could most likely also be used for just a small backup uh, sharp knife. You can have, even have several of them. I would say they weigh absolutely nothing and almost take up no space. But uh, a good uh, sharpening stone from Felkneven or something like this also doesn't take up much space. But anyway, they're very nice to apply a convex grind to a knife. And the Scandi grind is a... Uh, much better grind I think with just a little micro bevel of a convex grind. So guys I hope you like this short little video on how I apply a convex grind to my Scandi knives and how I keep the grind convex. I also hope you like this uh, decoration that uh, the little pink troll made on the snow shelter back here. So guys please check the links in the description, sub share, subscribe and sub bell and sub like and all that good stuff. Until next time get out and train and get it done and see you next time here in uh, cold winter time Russia. Thank you for your time guys. See you.